I am Tiam Singh. Welcome to an admin lesson. We are going to create a new project. We start by using the project creation wizard to create an empty project. Let's call our project TDS. Next, we will add in the details. I have to add in the description of the project. The system administrator name which I call system and the system administrator password. With that done, we can just create the create button and it will create the empty project. Let's inspect our project directory and see what has been created. You can see in the 000 directory, the system files has been created. Now let me show you how do I make this project a useful project. First, I will now start the APS project and I'll use the project replicate to replicate the project structure. This will create a DB listing of the APS admin database, which I want to copy the themes and foreign DB for the new project that I created. Now I'm going to edit the macro file that I just created. First, I'll copy all the create theme statements from this macro file. I'm going to start the new file and copy these statements to the new file. In the theme statement, there is a lot of t-add which is to add the users to the team. But as I don't have any user, I have to put remark them off by using a dash dash lines. And I do a search and replace to do that. Next, I'm going to create all the include statements from the previous file. So this will include all the foreign DB that I need for my project. Put them right at the end and I'm going to save this file which I will use to populate to my new project. Before I can use the project, I have to include the environment variable in two places, one for admin, the other for the user. I copy the existing statement and include my new TDS project. I rather have this if call statement because if you do not have this call statement and the project directory is invalid, then the user will not be able to go into E3D at all. Next, we are going to admin and use the include file that we created. Now let's run admin for the TDS project. First, we $m the macro. You can see that the themes have been created. Next, for this lesson, I'll just create user using the form. I create a user name called pipe A and the password as A. I add some details for this users like the description and I'll give it a security of general, which means that it cannot use the admin modules. Next, I'll add the themes for this user. When a user belongs to a team, he can read and write from the database that this team owns. I put him in the piping team. Next, we are going to create a database for this team. At the moment, we have all the foreign DB that are the same from the APS project. Now, let's call, create a master design DB for our part team to write to. We call our database DESI. Its full name is Pipe Aubrey DESI. And we give it a description. And we can create an initial site called Pipe A.
with the database created, we are ready to create a multiple DB for our use. So for this case, we are going to include all the databases, including the foreign database for this multiple DB. In the multiple DB, when the user opens the multiple DB, he has a right permission to the design database. And at the same time, he will have the catalog from the foreign DB to use for his design. I've included all the foreign DB and put the design DB right at the top so that it will be seen as the first database. Once that is done, the project is ready to go. So let me save work and you can see that I can now go to the project and use the project in my modeling. You can see the site pipe A, which I created when I was creating the database. And I can create a site for this DB and start my modeling. Hope this lesson can start you creating your first project for E3D. See you again soon. Bye.